everyone, it's Dawn bringing you another Swiss culture video. Today I'm going to share with you 10 Swiss culture that I find really, really amusing. If you're new here and you like videos like this, consider subscribing by clicking the red button down below and the bell button to not miss out on any of my videos. And if you're back here for more, welcome back! First, people do not really cook dinner here. Dinner are usually a cold platter of like meat and cheese and dinner is just not a priority. Their biggest meal and a warm meal is always at lunch time. That is really different from where I come from where dinner is the only time where everyone gathers after work to sit down and have dinner as a family because in the day it's either you're at school or you're at work. So that is something different. And second, people actually go home for lunch here in Switzerland, especially in small towns where I live. Most people will just go home during lunch, school lunch break or work lunch break. That is also probably why lunch is the biggest meal because that's when every family member goes home to have lunch. In Asia, we do not have that option because we always live a little too far from home, whether we go to school or go to work, so it's not like within walking distance. I also find it really great that you already have lunch as a family so that after work, you can actually be engaging in other activities like going to the gym and things like that without affecting eating together as a family. So before I came here, the most I've seen are like two kisses when you meet someone. But in Switzerland, it's three kisses. So you go like mwah, mwah, and mwah, three times. And that is something very special. I've noticed that men do not do that to men. They just shake hands. Women do it to women and men and women, they do it to each other too. So it's very different and interesting for me to see because where I come from, where I've seen Islamic women, they greet each other but not always with the men. They are not supposed to be in contact, I think. Women and women can shake hands, men and men, but not men and women. Sometimes they don't if they are very traditional i think or conservative i'm not too sure but it's interesting to see here that women and women you kiss men and men no but men and women you kiss too and this one is something that is nice to know if you are going to a party when people serve you wine i think it's more alcoholic drink if it's non-alcoholic it's different but if you are served wine you do not take a sip of your wine until everyone has had their glasses filled. And when you have your glass filled, whether it's wine or not wine, when you do cheers, it's not like cheers, usually you do together and then you drink. I think that's the Chinese style maybe, but you do one by one to each person. You have to look the person in the eye and then clink their glasses one by one and you call them by name like you say their name and also if you attend a party or someone is hosting dinner for you or lunch you must wait for the host to take the first sip of drink or the first bite of food before you begin i think that's very formal in family settings probably doesn't happen but it's really good to know if you're visiting someone for the very first time. So this next one is something I find really amusing and I experienced it firsthand saying goodbye. So basically saying goodbye here, you don't just go like, hey guys, I'm leaving, bye. You don't do that. In a social setting at a party, you say goodbye to every person one by one. So when it comes to saying goodbye, which takes forever, I thought it's a family thing. But no, here in a social setting at a party, we were saying goodbye for, I don't know, more than half an hour. And in the end, the host invited us to have a drink. So 
of course we said yes we sat down and we continued talking so basically we didn't leave the party till the party was more than over because we were with the host and that was my first goodbye experience that took more than two hours because it didn't end <laughs> the goodbye became a oh let's sit down for a chat <laughs> that was really funny and the next one is swimming in a lake people swim in lakes or rivers and very often it's not guarded with a lifeguard and i have to say the swiss are not the best swimmers <laughs> because they have mountains mostly to me that's very interesting because people are pretty chill about it like not having a lifeguard and swimming in deep lakes and rivers even i i'm a pretty good swimmer but that uh, makes me a bit scared too okay this next one is not really a culture but more of a law but it's super funny and cute because if you want to own a guinea pig you must buy two. You cannot have just one guinea pig. You will be breaking the law if you just buy one guinea pig. This guinea pig will be very lonely. So the Swiss has made a law that you must buy two guinea pigs so that they can be not lonely and happy. It's so cute. I've never heard of any laws like this until now. So that was really amusing and <laughs> so cute. When it comes to driving on uh, the roads, like villages and mount mountainous, mount mountain, mount, how do you say that? Mountainous, mountainous, you know, in the mountains. So when you drive in the mountains, sometimes you have to give way because there's only one road so sometimes this car will move to the side and this car will pass the way they say thank you is very interesting they just turn on the signal for about two seconds just to say thank you older people here really enjoy living by themselves and enjoying that independence men and women as old as 92 live by themselves which i find really interesting and amusing it is possible for older people to do that here because not only that family members live nearby usually but also they have social workers for those old people who maybe do not have close family or children so that's really different from asia because when your parents are really old in asia they usually live with you or they go to the old folks of course they have old folks home here too but i don't know who likes to go to old folks home unless they are really sick or need super close attention or assistance if you've enjoyed this video i would appreciate a thumbs up and if you're new here again consider subscribing by clicking the red button down below and the notification button Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!